Hello friends, it is Monday. It is a little after 4.30. Um, I worked out, I just <laughs> took off my baseball cap because I wore one while I was working out. I don't know when you are seeing this. I have fallen off with Vlogtober <laughs> a little bit. Not because I wanted to, it was just that like life was kind of happening all the things and yeah, I just got a little off track, but I am going to try desperately to get on track. Uh, yeah, so yesterday was Sunday. We looked at a bunch of houses. We are going to go look at one more tonight. It was actually supposed to be on our list of houses to look at um, and somehow all three of us, Steven, the realtor, and myself, we all forgot about it. So we are going to go tonight at like 6.30 to check it out. It'll be house number seven. It's in a great neighborhood, a neighborhood that um, we really like. It has access and is very close to like all the places we like to go and like to shop. So we're gonna go look at it. It looks really promising. It was built in 1949. It's a really good size house and has a really great yard for Mabel. So I have high hopes that this will be a good one. The first six that we've looked at, Steven and I both didn't walk in and say like, we both love this, this is home. And with our New York house, when we walked in, we both looked at each other and we're like, this is the one. We just haven't felt that yet, so we're waiting for that feeling. But as I said, I have gotten a little bit off of Vlogtober. I'm going to try to catch up and end October really strong because we have some fun things happening. Uh, in like the next couple weeks, I'm going to a corn maze with friends. I'm having a game night with my family this coming weekend. I'm hosting a Halloween party with my family the weekend after that. Uh, just like so much fun stuff. So hopefully I can get back on track and like catch up, but I make no promises. I don't even know what day it's supposed to be. I don't know what day you're going to be seeing this. It's probably later in the week by that point. Uh, but I'm sorry and I will try to do better. I don't think I'll share tonight's house. Maybe I will, but maybe just on Instagram. I don't know. It's so funny. It doesn't bug me. It just kind of astonishes me <laughs> what people like will say or critique or think that their opinion will matter in us selecting a home. It's kind of wild. I would definitely say being away from the internet definitely didn't make me miss the nonsense of it all and just how people are. The funniest part is I think a uh, six months ago, it would affect me a lot more, but like, I honestly can't stop laughing. I find it quite comical. Uh, and then people think they have a right for you to share what they think they are entitled to know. And it's so funny. Uh, this is my space and I'll share what I want to share and not share what I don't want to share. And yeah, I just, I could never imagine, not that we're, I mean, I consider you all friends. I think uh, that's why many of us start making content, but I find it so funny because I could never imagine like a friend house shopping and me critiquing every house that they showed me. I would be like so supportive and excited and just be like, whichever one feels right and I'm going to love it and be so happy for you. But like, I don't know. It's so interesting to me that this space makes people act well, well, maybe they act like that in real life and then God bless them. And I hope that they have friends. Uh, I just couldn't imagine. So I don't know if I'll share house seven with you. If I do, it'll probably only be on Instagram, but yeah, just, I don't need the nonsense and it's none of your business, but uh, it's quite funny. So you're <clears throat> probably watching this later in the week and uh, you will have known by now if I shared House 7 on Instagram, but I doubt I will have shared it here. Is a Miss Mabel? Is a Miss Mabel? Is House number 7 going to be the house? Is House number 7 going to be the house? Oh, so seepies. I also have to share something that 
I am loving, you guys all know that I love a puzzle, but my friend Janelle was like, you need to try a sticker by number. So I have started one. Wait, I think I started the other one. I have done just the bird so far, but you have numbers and then you therapeutically go back here and you search for it, you find it, you go back and you place the stickers. I enjoy it so much and some of these are actually so beautiful that I might actually frame. But I'll link the two that I got, they're on Amazon, super reasonable. But if you don't like a paint by number, but want like the relaxation of like a puzzle or just something to rest your brain, highly recommend. I like want to take these on road trips and travel with them. So loving them. Also still loving these guys. They're just, ugh, I enjoy them. Some of my advent calendars have started coming. I'll link all the ones that I have bought, but my Joe Malone 12 days came and it is so pretty. I only bought the 12 day one this year uh, because the sizes are larger. Here is a little glimpse of things coming together. So I'm doing this chartreuse green and then the blue. These are all porcelain. They're so nice and weighty. And then I also got some chartreuse pillowcases. These are actually like ceramic. Everything is from Amazon. I will link it all below for you, but absolutely loving what this is gonna look like. It is Saturday. Same sweater, different color. <laughs> uh, the reason I know that is because I was just editing whatever footage was on my camera. And I, I, I'm really, really trying. I don't even know what it was. I haven't, I mean, I've been busy, but I haven't been that busy. I am the least busy I probably have been in the last eight years, but just living life. Uh, yeah, it is Saturday morning. It is 9.30ish. Steven took Mabel for a walk and a pup cup at Starbucks. Um, this morning we got some coffee from Starbucks as well and we've just been chilling. I wanted to get on here and at least edit to see what footage I had. So I am going to try very hard to end October strong. Uh, tonight I'm going and having a game night with my family. There's actually a festival today that I might attend as well. I'm just trying to figure out a couple things. And we are, yeah, just kind of a living life. It was a really good week. Yesterday, I spent the day in Raleigh exploring it. I have never been to Raleigh, even when I lived here all those years ago. Never, ever went to Raleigh. It was such a cute visit. Um, there were some political rallies going, which I thought were really fun. But it was a good day. It's a longer drive than I anticipated, but well worth it. So I did that this week, and then, yeah, family and fun and work and all really good things. But I'm sitting here in my office, just editing, doing the things, and catching up. And I was like, all right, I have about eight minutes of footage, uh, one of which was the 2024 Christmas theme. It's nowhere near complete. However, I have a good sense of what I want it to look like this year, and a color story selected. <sighs> so that's what's going on. I am prepping lunch for the week. And I love all things buffalo chicken. So I'm making like a buffalo chicken soup. So I have two potatoes and two stalks of celery. All right, that's in. I was lazy, so I bought my carrots already shredded so I didn't have to mess with them. In a soup, I like a shredded carrot a little bit better. So I'm gonna add some shredded carrot. Beautiful. I'm going to add a packet 
of dry ranch seasoning. I'm going to add four cups of chicken stock. Okay. And this is where you go based off of your spice level. I have some Frank's Red Hot. I'm going to, I like spicy. I'm gonna give that all a stir together. Beautiful. I'm going to let that all go on high for a few hours until everything is tender. And then in the meantime, I'm gonna shred up a rotisserie chicken, just the breast meat, and we'll add that in. And then half of a block of one third fat cream cheese, just to like make it a creamier, heartier soup. And that is going to be lunch for the week. You just saw me prep soup. That was on Sunday. I'm desperately going to try to catch up and film this week. I have a couple ideas for things, but this one is just a <laughs> plethora of days this week. And yeah, today we slept in, we took Mabel for a three mile walk in what will be our new neighborhood. Sorry, you could probably hear the dryer. Steven and I weren't planning on this. However, I think we know this is going to be a forever home. We are so happy here that we started looking at houses and properties and didn't even think about uh, this unless the right house came along and we found it. And it's perfect and Mabel loves it and we love it. And as of this morning, we are under contract. It's going to make for a super interesting vlogmas and uh, 2025 videos that will take us through this process again. It's so funny. I feel like I just got done unpacking and now we will start again. But this house is in an amazing neighborhood close to all the things we love and it's just perfect. And I cannot wait to share it with you. It's, it felt, this has never really felt like home and Steven and I got there and that felt like home. And oddly enough, it's a combination of a fill of every house we've ever had together. So that's what's happening. I'm going to wrap up this vlog and kind of start fresh tomorrow. But take care of yourself. Take care of others. Be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time, which will be soon, hopefully. Bye-bye.